Remember me, the other veteran? Sweet. Gift shop. Hey, Harley's Angels and Ghost Riders, it's Exploring Harley. Guys, tonight I came back to St. Andrews, New Brunswick. Remember St. Andrews? Yeah, just click that link and you'll see what I mean. Because we came here before, we came here back in March. And I had that connection with that veteran. His name is Tom Hutchings. He was wrongly hanged. And tonight, it will make... 81 years to the day to the hour that he was hanged and now we're gonna go in the the jail part I'm sorry I'm really nervous because we came here earlier today and I have like a, con a connection with Thomas and I can like feel and sense the energy coming from from the cell door so We'll go in. Want to come and see, King? Yes, sir, oh my God. One, wants to protect me. So we'll go and... Don't forget the chain. There we go. We brought Kia. And she goes right to the back. Right to the bench. She went to the bench. She sniffed that, that like there was someone sitting on that bench. On that bench right there, like somebody was right here. And look how much that cell where you realize that there was somebody watching you. And tonight, guys, I will be laying in Thomas' cell on his bed doing Estes method right before the time he was hung. He was brought out of his cell at 1.30 in the morning of the December 16th, 1942. And tonight I will be laying on this bed doing an Estes method, trying to figure out whatever he did it or not. Hello, my name is Felicity, but I like to be known as Mr. Mina because uh, most Saturday nights during the summer, I do take people to this haunted jail where those inmates are never gonna make bail. Um, as you obviously going to find out or have you seen before on Jeff or Loma's channels. Um, it is one very haunted, daunting jail. So this, are you ready? Yep. Okay, so actually this is the second jail in St Andrews because the first jail was built on Water Street where the town office is now. It was a great idea for the time. Um, you had the court on the top half of the building and the jail on the bottom but the infinite wisdom of the builder of the day, he put that building on a dirt floor, which meant at night the prisoners would just dig through the dirt and escape to freedom. Back then, if you were imprisoned for debt uh, and you escaped on your debt, it was up to the sheriff of this town to pay your debt off. 
So it was decided in 1816, this town needed to build a new jail, one with the reputation that you'd never want to return to and you'd never be able to escape from. It finally opened in 1832 and uh, it closed as a fully functioning working jail in 1979. So obviously the most popular inmates are um, Thomas Dowd, who was hung for the murder of Thomas Ward in January 1879, and uh, Sergeant Tom Hutchins down at the end here, who was hung on the 16th of December 1942. We also have a lot of uh, women who do haunt here, uh, mainly the jailer's wife who burnt to her death in 1834. So um, has it been the 16th of December, um, there, up until the early hours of this morning, there was actually three people over the course of time all waiting for their death sentences. Uh, Thomas Dowd was waiting to be hung in January of 1879. Eliza Ward, who was his accomplice in crime, she was due to hang uh, on the 14th of January 1879. And of course, Thomas Sergeant Tom Hutchins was um, hung on the 16th of December 1942. So December is a very haunting month in here, especially up until the 16th. Um, well, people have encountered here, Thomas Darrell definitely likes the ladies. He likes to pull hair. Um, he likes to stroke your hair, um, tap you on the shoulder. Um, the women who haunt here, they like to whisper uh, sweet nothings into the gentleman's ears when they're coming in through the ghost walk and Thomas Hut Tom Hutchins um, You often get a very scented smell of old Holborn tobacco. So I'm presuming he used to smoke a pipe um, But people he's our most prominent person that is seeing Like I'd say most Saturday nights in the summer people will show me strange pictures of somebody stood behind them and I myself have caught a man in an RAF uniform sat on that step. I've also caught a man holding a noose between the slats of the gallows down there. So it's, bring me your fear factor, that's all I can say. <laughs> I change your underwear. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So we did have, even though it's built like a fortress, there were escapes here. Um, obviously, as you can see in 1883, Hugh Waddle, who was waiting trial for arson, um, broke through an iron barred window with three other prisoners. So if you see the iron barred windows, they're incredibly small, um, but yet we have had escapes here before. Um, there was also um, a young lad, I think he was around about seven years old, maybe nine, and he was in here for stealing bread. That's correct, stealing bread. And um, apparently they larded him up with lard, and the smallest one, and pushed him through one of the windows because there is only one window that has a bar in the middle, but the windows are only four inches by 12 inches. So you've got to be fairly slim to get out of here. And then we have uh, Sarah Oliver, um, and she was actually in here twice um, and was acquitted on both charges of murder. Um, and as you can see, she married 51-year-old John Wallace in 1854. Um, she was accused of a murder, came in here, and all the document is on the table there. And she was found not guilty by the jury next door in the court, went home and was back in here very shortly for another murder. But she walked out of here again, a free woman after another court case next door. And then, of course, Thomas Dowd, who was hung here in um, 1879, um, and Eliza Ward. Now, Eliza Ward escaped hanging because she was very heavily pregnant. 
and she was um, committed to the Dorchester Penitentiary for seven years. Um, but the two Thomases are probably the most prominent hauntings in this jail. But they've all got a story to tell. <laughs> if you're going to come in, you've got to bring an open mind and a lot of respect. Nobody has ever investigated on the stairs. No one. mansion we went to with uh angela graystone graystone manor um, died out i got mine if you want to oh it's okay we got this one all right this first recording in the attic we have lamar chelsea and jeff up here Who exactly is here with us today? Are you an old guard? If you have a name, feel free to tell us. We told you ours. Wait, you see something? You feel something? I thought I heard something back here. Like a couple taps. No way. If you want to tap again to let us know it's you, that would be amazing. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. It's a movement? I heard a tick. A tick? Yeah, like a tap. Yeah, you heard, you heard it at the top. Okay, but we play the first part because it kind of sounded like a whisper of some sort. Yeah. First recording in the attic. We have Lamar, Chelsea, and Jeff up here. Who exactly is here with us today? Are you an old guard? There. Right there. If you have a name, feel free to tell that us. Was, that was that wasn't. It wouldn't sound like a, either a voice or something moving. It sounded like, kind of like a voice. Play it again. First recording in the attic. We have Lamar, Chelsea, 
Miles and Jeff up here. Who exactly is here with us today? Are you an old guard? If you have a name, feel free to tell us. We told you ours. Huh. It's really hard to tell. That's really hard to tell. It's real. Interesting, though. Yeah, really yeah. interesting. Are you picking up anything right now? I'm picking up like a Mr. Mr. D. Mr. D. Vibe. Like a like a the last name starts with a D. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, Mr. D. Just be really careful if you go back. Look. Oh, yeah, all the oh, nails. Yeah. <laughs> that does not look like a good time. No, not really. I think you're, you you had the same idea <laughs> than on me. Double. It's it's the talker cracking. Um. Yeah. <laughs> So guys, those boxes, I can put them as boxes, used to be the guards' rooms. <laughs> so. Oh, I heard something. So, you, you sit there facing that wall. Okay. So you're not even, you have the blindfold on, you can't even hear, but you're facing that way. Yeah. And like, we'll step right out of the room. Okay, leave the, well, I mean, you have to hear my answers though, right? Yeah, we'll hear them. But I'm just saying like, it's going to be a lot more closed off than just like before. Okay. Know? We're okay. going to be just outside the door, so we're going to hear your answers. Look at this, guys. What? I have many regrets. I have many regrets. Many regrets. That's what your spirit talker, yeah. So. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, really. You can put a camera up facing me. Yes. And then put a camera up also facing like my back or something. Yeah, definitely. All right, so we'll hop into an Estes and we'll, uh, yeah, see what we find. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll come into contact with uh, the guards or someone or... Mm -hmm. All right, let's, let's hop into it. Maybe we'll close this a bit. Yeah. You're done. You're done. You're done. So... Who are we talking to? Is it a guard? Is it hung. Thomas Dowd? I think she just said hung. Oh. Thomas Hutchings, is this you? This I can't hear the, you. This is the night where you were about to get executed. Are we communicating with you right now? I swear if this is him. Tamachings, is that you? Remember me, the other veteran? We? Oui. Lord boards. Look at this right now. The guy. The guy. I ask, remember me, Thomas? He said the guy. Yeah, the guy, the French guy. The veteran from Quebec. Jeff! Jeff. <gasps> she just said Jeff! Thomas! You're doing great! Jeff, you're doing great! <gasps> no! Way right. Tom. No, that's my friend. Sentient. What is sentient? I don't know. Thomas! Are you happy that I came back, my friend? I'm really happy to be back. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. Well, man, I told you that I came. I'm sorry I called you, man. I, I, 
I'm yes. really happy to be talking with you, Tom. And you know her. Her, yes. Talk through my friend Chelsea. You know she's really oh. nice. I like. Thomas Hutchings, if this is you, are you able to give us some Who sort is of, she? Some sort of message as to what are you thinking tonight? Because this was your anniversary to your to your death. You're, in a few hours, you would be executed. Anniversary? Oh! <gasps> no, she did. Yeah, she said. Thomas, we are aware that it's your anniversary. It's gonna make 81 years tonight that Break. Thomas, I have to ask you this. Tom, I have to ask you this. Why? Why? <gasps> she answered why, like I said. Why d did you not ask for some more defense for some help from the Air Force? Released. Release. It was the easy way out. Oh. Easy. Easy. Wait, wait, wait. Jack. Easy Lightning. Thomas, did you want to end it? Did you you want to come in, but you Light. didn't knew how? Was it your way to come in? Vet. Yeah. The future. I, my, my battery fell from. My what's, what's the date? Date? Yes. It's the 16th of December tonight. Well, actually, now it's the 15th. Dan, Dennis. Is that Dennis the guilty one? Bad, bad, bad. So that Dennis would be the, the one that actually killed Bernice. Is that it? Yes. <gasps> Dennis. The book says it. The book, the book says, says it. Dennis. The book Trace. says it. Trace. Was Dennis the guy that Bernice rejected at the dance? Please, Tom. Help me. Yes, I want to help you, and We're that's my way to help you. But you Burn. gotta. We're here to help you, Tom. Tom, Burn. we're here for you, and we agree Mom. with your story. We don't think Mom? you did it, but we need your help to bring Nine. that to the world. What is she saying? Four of us. Four of us? Sleep. So there's four of you now. No. Thomas, so you're still here with us. Nora. Nora. Was Nora the, the name of your wife? The one that stayed in the UK? Touching my shoulder. This one. My left one. Who is doing that? Who's touching Chelsea? I am. Hey, who is that? It's like it's like they're holding my hand. I can feel the pressure on my hand. My name is Albert. Again. Again. Twice. Yes. Albert, were you an inmate here? Or a guard? Yes. Whoa. So 23, get out. A guard, I'm getting, I think it's a guard. So you were a guard? Albert, were you a guard?
It's speaking in a different language. <gasps> Her skin. I'm thinking. What language are you are you speaking right now? Tippy toe. Whoa. Nine. Knife. Tom, are you still here with us? Close the door. Oh! <gasps> Close the door. Now. Door. Now. You gotta be shitting me, man. It's a guard. This, this, I'm, I'm almost certain it's a guard. Hey. I, I'm certain too. They don't want us. Break the ice. Break the ice. Do it. They don't want us using their. Yep. Yeah. Ward. Oh my God. Thomas Hutchings, we're here for your anniversary. Men. We want to know what you are feeling Thomas. Right now. We came to communicate with you. Emma. Emma. Who's touching my leg right now? Thomas, was Emma your daughter? Thomas. Her what? leg. Can you say Hutchins or Dowd? Is it Thomas Hutchings or Thomas Dowd? Because I know that Thomas so Dowd. Thomas touching my neck. Who's touching neck. Chelsea right now? Don't touch Chelsea, please. Thomas. Thomas. Tom. 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 So Tom is his actual name. Yes. Not Tom. Tom Reginald. Chelsea. Chelsea, she said to me. Shirt. What shirt? Thomas. Rip yeah. up. Thomas Dowd and Tom Hutchings. Thomas Hutchings, I have a question for you. I want you to try and give us a message that you have never told any sort of paranormal team ever. Okay, if there's something you need to say a Warden. secret, or, you know, something that Jail. You, you don't want to tell anyone else, you can tell us. We're going to keep it safe. We're just trying to get your story out there, okay? We want to understand why you went to the gallows without saying anything Please without listen. even saying that you didn't do it Tom. to the end hierarchy. angel hierarchy music whoa i think we should tap her out soon. yeah yeah go and tap her out it's been about 10 minutes about four yeah, yeah i got 10 minutes Help. Don't know what she just said. I heard help. Who's in there with her right now? Let us know. My camera's blurry. We all are. Look. Oh. It's blurry? It was. Do you? I am. <gasps> are you close to Chelsea? Yes. My name is Albert. Again! Oh, Albert, was that your room? Hush. Albert, I'm just asking a question. Was this your room? Good. Sleep here. <sighs> Sleep here. Oh my god, dude. So, Albert, this was your sleeping quarters. Yes, bed. Oh, Albert, what year were you here? The you? girl. Can you give us a year you were here? Twelve minutes. Did you want to go? Who are you asking this? Ask me. Ask you? Ask you what?
should tap her out. It's time well, to go. 12 minutes if need. Time to go. <laughs> time to go. No fucking. Tommy, Tommy. Dancing. Oh my god. Oh. Well. Did you, uh. Did you realize what you were saying? Oh, a second. That would be really like. I felt really heavy on that one. Like, like it started off really light, and then at the end of it, I felt like things were closing in on me, and it was just everything was getting heavy. But well, we had the name. My name is Albert coming three times on Spirit Talker. We asked if Albert was a guard, and apparently, this was his room. This is where he would sleep. Yep. Yeah, I tried to ask for a year, but he wouldn't give it to me. Albert was probably his last name because guards usually go by last names, not yeah. first names. That's right. They don't go by first names. Yeah. Right? So his last name will be Albert. Mm hmm. And Thomas came through. Yeah, I remember saying Tom. Tom, Tom Tommy, came through. Thomas. So, okay, so remind me. So Tom is. Tom Achings. Okay, Tom and Tommy. Did anyone go by Tommy? The, uh, no, maybe. Maybe. As a as a maybe. Maybe. And Thomas, that would be Thomas Dowd. And that's my boy. Yeah. Thomas Dowd. And I did remember someone like touching the top of my head, touching my leg and my shoulder. But the shoulder was like very comforting. Like it was kind of like someone was like, hey, like, Thomas welcome Dowd. back. Thomas yeah. Dowd. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Can't wait to see the images if like something like a flick of hair or oh, something yeah. happened. That would be cool. That'd be wicked. Yep. Right, well, let's get you on it. Yep. Remember upstairs we had the name. My name is Albert coming three times. Take a look at this. This gentleman's name is Albert H. Robinson. And he, he, was, a kid, he was acquitted of the murder of his infant. And we had the name, I name is Albert, coming three times upstairs. Wow. And I do remember saying, like, mommy. And there's a lot of, like, little children voices as well. Hmm. Really? That came through. Mommy. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, you were given a tour through that second half of the jail. Yeah. And we just discovered the pictures of what the second half of this jail looked like. Yeah. Because upstairs, guys, it used to where they would, well, imprison the children and the children that had families where their family had to be imprisoned with them. So they would imprison them upstairs. Basically, it's four big cells and it's the same, la the same kind of distance, kind of, you know, but instead of having those cells, you're having four big cells. And that gentleman was probably in prison upstairs. Well, no, he would have been kept downstairs. Downstairs? Yeah, because he was accused of murder, and he'd have no, he'd have no reason to go upstairs. He would be down here. Hmm. Because that was really what I would call family suites mm -hmm. <laughs> or debtors who owed money, but it was mainly children. And the families. And their families. So, yeah. So we was downstairs. <laughs> That's like a chain and all. Okay. Oh. Welcome home. And the rent laws are going when she's closing the doors. And I'm very, I'm, I have this coat, I have my hoodie, I have my riding pants, and I'm cold. <laughs> well, it's 40 degrees. <laughs> oh my God. I'm getting a little nervous, to be honest, the closer we get to the time. Yeah, me too.
recording? Oh! Alright. So, Tamachings. You know, the last time I came, I talked with you and we had a good conversation. And tonight, unfortunately, it's going to make eight years that, well, you know, I don't have to explain it to you. So you probably remember us from last time. Thomas, we came to get some answers. So I'm going to put the box, like I've put the other dime, right here and just put your words in it and please let us know. We want to know if I, I'm pretty sure you didn't do it but why did you took the blame for it? So my camera is picking up on someone sitting on this bench. On the it's bed. on face detection right now and it's like following something. Oh no way. Oh yeah? On here. You can see it's like... Oh yeah. Oh it's someone sitting right there or something. Yeah, it's like following it. Now it's up in the corner. Yeah, something's sitting right there. Oh, yeah. Oh. Can you tell us who it is? Is this you, Tom? The Lutchings. Dorothy. Huh. This was my home. Oh. 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 I was picking up someone like beside you as well. Are you serious? Thomas Hutchings, in a few hours, we know there's something that would have happened to you on this date 81 in 1942. Years. 81 years ago. Can you touch the red device if this is you? Right on the gallows. There's a red light right there where the gallow is. Can you come and touch it to show us that it's you? Yeah. Thank you. Just touched it. There you go. The one on the gallow. Thank you. Okay, we're, we're talking to Hutchins then. That's, this is literally him. So, Tom, can you tell us, please, why? Everett. Everett. Don't go. And don't go. Is it just me, or I have like, it smells like... Kind of like piss? Yeah. yeah. It smells like piss. It does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that would make sense, right? They all peed in buckets down here. Yeah, so yeah but the time last time, time we came, it doesn't smell, it wasn't smelling that. It smells like the remnants of piss. Yeah, like just, that's Come here. City. Go go and stand right there in the door. Go and stand right there. What? Yo, it smells like a porta potty. No way. Yeah, I tell you, I tell you. It, it literally smells like a like a bathroom. It does. Yeah, it does. No way. It wasn't smelling that the last time we were here. No. Okay, what just touched me on my arm? Hey! What? Hey! It said, hey! He said, what touched me on my arm? He said, hey! Something was just trying to get my attention. Mm -hmm. And guess what? When I came here before, I was right there. I was trying to, like, figure out where to set up our, our stuff. I felt like somebody tapped me on the on the shoulder. 
Yeah, it's, it's, we're talking. My name is Mildred. My name is Mildred. Hi, Mildred. Hello, Mildred. Were you a prisoner here, Mildred? Attic. Attic. No way. Maybe, Attic. So the attic was also used for family visits. Is that what? Or mm. was it mostly just like the guards? No, it there? was mostly for the guards. Okay. So I was just up in the attic. I know. I know. Whoa! Did you follow me down from the attic? Oh! Oh my god! Mildred, if that's you, can you touch it again to confirm? Thomas, if that's you, can you please touch it? With Tom? Tommy? Tom Hutchings. What, what name? We're what? making contact. Oh. Oh. So many signs saying we're talking to him right now. By what name would you like to be called? Would you like to be called Tom, Tommy, Thomas, Reginald? Inside? Inside. Do you want me to go inside your cell? Or do you want my friend Chelsea or my friend Lomar to go in your cell? So if you want me to go in your cell, can you touch the device? If you want me to go in your cell, can you touch a device? If you want Lamar to go in the cell, can you touch a device, please? I can go. I'm going to go in your cell a little bit later, Tom, to try to communicate with you. I'm going to put a head, some headphones and I'm going to... Benedict. I'm going to put headphones and I'm going to put a device on my face that will get me into like a trance or a... I don't know, kind of a concentration kind of state. So... Are here. Are you okay, Joseph? Somebody just touched my butt. No way. Are you? Oh. I felt something really warm on my butt. Chelsea, Roger. Something poked me in my ass in the ass. Uh, are you kidding me? No, something. What, Jeff? It just said Roger. Roger, did you just touch my butt? No. That's a term, man. Eh? Like Roger that. Roger that. Like, Thomas Did you hear me? Was in the Air Force. Roger. When you, you talk to, you understand yeah. me? Yeah, Roger, got that. Yeah. Roger that. Wow. Oh my God, Tom, please. Can you tell us, show us a sign that you're here with us? I know that tonight is going to be the night that unfortunately, 81 years ago, well, it happened. Do you want me to go in your cell and put some headphones on so you can talk through me? Can you touch a device to show us that's what you want? Do you not see that? What? The, the I, I shadow in there? I could have sworn I saw a shadow just slightly just move. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the Phasm camera. Is someone in here right now? Thomas Hutching or Tom? Little girl. Did the warden have a daughter run around here? Is this mm -hmm. that jail or is that a different jail? It's a different jail. I'm from ancient times. Whoa. From ancient times? That would be probably more the land. Oh, there is something like, like an energy force field right here. He's in his cell. 
No, I know it's just there. it's it's Donald. Donald. Donald, are you one of the officers, Mr. Donald? Were you walking around tonight? Walking you, up and down the halls? Are you watching us? Tom, you know that we made the trip just for this special night because we know that 81 years ago, well, you went out on that gallow right there. Oh, and... Leave this place. No, not now. Because we want to talk to you. We want to know how you felt right before climbing up on this gallow. I want to know Thank what... You. you... Are you? Hmm. What do you mean by are you? You want to argue with us that you didn't do it? We know it. You might have been arguing someone to say that you didn't do it. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. So, Tom, are you ready to communicate? There's something like blocking. Yeah, I I'm, think I'm very drawn to back there right now. But like something keeps telling me to like step off of this. He killed me. Bernice Connors? Is that you? Did you come and haunt Thomas on the night that he was hung? Well, if you don't answer, I'm going to put some headphones on and I'm going to go lay on your bed and you're going to talk through me, okay? Can you touch a device to tell me that it's okay with you, please? Okay. Thank you. So, I'm gonna go in your cell. Holy shit. And, yeah, I'm gonna get the headphones and right get the camera in there. I don't know how. All right. So, we got Jeff going under right now. He has a full on VR set. He's basically doing the SS method with the VR. So, he's seeing like a graphic. Just, so, he's completely tuned out. Can't hear us, can't see us. He's all in this cell. Is dead. That's too crazy. Can you tell us who you are? Who's sitting on this chair? Thomas, Tom, are you lying 
Jeff right now. Hey, Jeff. Are you able to tell me what day it is? Everyone? Real? Yeah, what's happening is real. It already happened. But it's real. You really do go through that. What were you thinking before it happened? Bolt legs? Bless you. You did have a priest coming. What were your last thoughts? Are you able to tell us anything that you want us to share? Better hurry. Remember? You're very remembered. People have written books about you. Lots of people still talk about your story. A lot of people are working on uncovering that you are innocent. Hurry again? Why do we need to hurry? Bye. Bye. Whoever's here. Communicate with us, it's okay. Thomas, in about an hour, we know you were gonna be Where? All my life. Thomas Dowd, are you present with us today? I don't want. Let her drown. Let her drown. What? Albert. He said, let her drown. Coming? Albert came to remember Albert was charged for the drug, supposedly killing his baby who was found floating in water. Yeah. Albert, this is you, right? What happened to you? Tom Hutchings. Get out. Oh, I heard that with my ears. Oh. Looking. Who do you want to get out? We living? We living? Is there anyone specific you want out of your cell right now? Oh. What? What? I get it. It's literally choking me. Wait, what? Like currently? Thompson. Did you get that okay? Yeah, I did. I literally yes. just He's ready? My, my throat just He is? Goes. Did someone just make Lamar oh. feel what it felt like? Okay. Oh my shit. That was scary. 
But I felt the muscles in my throat just tighten. What happened? Get out. We were, we were executed. Holy shit. Holy shit. Hi, Thomases. Wow. Oh my god. Is there any way that you can confirm that both Thomases are here with us right now? Make any device go off. Make any sort of noise. We're going to give you about 10 seconds. No, I don't like time. I know it can help narrow it down to like for sure. Not believing? Thank you. So if you can give us any sign. Oh, it is What? Thomas, I'm talking to Tom, sorry. Tom Hutchins. There's gotta be a message you wanna. Did I scare you? Oh. Yeah. Did this scare you? Dude, I was choked out, what was that? Stop it. When I was like, kind of choked, that scared me. Thomas, there has to be a message. If you have any sort of secret or anything you want to get out to help us understand your case more, please let us know. We're trying to dig deeper in, get more answers to bring to the world, because right now, what we're doing is filming for the entire world. This is your chance. Thomas Ward, Thomas Dowd, we are. Burning. Worry. It is not. Is Lamar safe if he goes in there? Is he welcome there? I think I Did you hear me? I think I need to sit in front of that cell. I've been like... I'll go with you. No, no, because I'm going to be asking you questions. I... I'm safe with Tom. Looking? Like, I have to 
and he felt like he knew it was going to happen no matter what. So I feel like he... End it. Maybe the last, the last day, or the last couple of hours, he knew it was going to happen. Like, he was just so pleased with it. He knew it was going to end. It was just so cute. Yeah. Which is obviously really exciting because yeah, we all didn't do it. We love... I'm good. Are you okay now though? Are you still at peace with what happened? Or do you feel like you have unfinished business? I did. I heard bugger. Are you with Eliza on the other side? Is Elijah here with us? Is she here in the spiritual realm? Get back. God create. There was nothing, just static. It was just static coming through. Tranquility. So that's why probably nothing was coming through because it was just static. Yeah. Just. Again, this bench one. It's probably oh, yellow. Wow. What does yellow mean? Yellow and green. Yellow? Yeah. Wow. That's a good touch. Yeah, it was yellow and then that's green. Wow. Can you please make it stop? Thank you. Whoa. Holy crap. So, guys. Now that we've moved outside, I've put the hanging rope right there on the ground because the gallows used to be right here. So, yeah, so there's a rope. I'm gonna put Spirit Talker on the rope. Airplane. There we go. There you go. All right, so what are you doing, Jeff? So now Spirit Talker is on the rope. So we're going to ask Tom Hutchings, are you here? Have regrets. I have regrets. Wow. Right away. Can you tell us some of your regrets? 
So the gallows would have been right here? Right here, yep. What kind of regrets do you have, Tom? Can you tell us? That fateful I understand. Understand. We're, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to understand why you did it. Yeah. Why you accepted it. Do you regret accepting it? Is that what you regret? Try and do your best to answer that. This would have been the, the time where you were executed exactly. 81 years ago. 81 years ago. 151. <sighs> he would have been... Uh, so now he's... He's hanging right he's now. He's hanging. <laughs> Julie. So... How did you feel when you felt that your neck didn't stab, that you were choking? Did you panic? Did you, were you scared? Can you give us a sign if you want us to go inside the, the courthouse now? That it was done? Way, right? Yeah, by the, by the side door, that side door right there. Yep. The, where that lowered his body right here and take him by that door. So, Tom, if you don't want to talk here anymore, you're going to go in the courthouse, okay? Can you give us a sign, please? Well, we'll go to the courthouse, okay? I had an injury, his head injury. Oh, my God. He had brain, uh, 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 brain trauma. Well, that's a sign. Okay, we're going in the courthouse. Thank you. <laughs>